is going on you guys i thought i would just hop on real quick here and with the spring weather uh, in most areas coming around the corner i thought i will help you guys do a really simple but straight up arm workout to not only tone your arms but actually make them feel amazing so when you wear the tank tops and the short sleeve and all that good stuff you're ready and more confident okay so I asked earlier a few minutes back if you got balls because that's what we're going to do. We're going to use medicine balls which are easily found today at Dick Sports, Big Five, even in your department store. Now how to go about buying the medicine ball? There's uh, three, actually four, three different medicine balls that you really run into. One is your typical medicine ball that is kind of heavy, it bounces some, you can see, okay, and these are perfect ideal. Uh, one of my favorite ones um, because you can work on not only strength and core but also power and agility okay the next one is the slam ball and those wins are the ones that you see in a lot of CrossFit facilities because uh, most people call it slam because that's what you do you slam them on the ball on the floor and they don't bounce okay and last but not least but I don't have it here is the little yoga balls that you see a lot of Pilates a studio carry around and yoga uh, places of course so we're going to do uh, a series of six to eight exercises um, for your upper body, primarily, specifically, your arms. Now, keep in mind that I'm always addressing your core strength, so you will work your core along with your arms. Guidelines to see which ball you need to get, use, or go by is based on the amount of uh, strength, overall brute strength you have. Typically, I'll take people to go for the 10 pounds, no more than 15 pound weight, because that way you can use it for a long while, instead of just, you know, two, three months later, it's too lightweight for you. Uh, last but not least, another trick I have people use is this really awesome sport sacks, because you can put a medicine ball here and do tornadoes. So once you fit it in there, of course, you want like a, a clothing one, not a plastic one, right? And you can do your tornadoes, we call them, uh, where you create a figure eight uh, and work your core and your shoulders, okay? So let's get started. As always, boy, for strength conditioning, I use uh, my timer so I can focus on the movement. We're gonna start working uh, with the back of the arms, getting the stretch to the lats and the rotators a little bit so you guys can get a uh, concept. But I set it up for 24 seconds. I give myself an extra second just to transition. Uh, but you hear the beeping? And that's me knowing that I need to change. All right, so the first one, I'm gonna be using uh, 10, eight, and six pounds, okay? So for the first one, because it's just a warm up, I'm gonna go with the six pounds. This way a little here, six pounds. All right, so here we go. So one toe on the back end, and then here we go. So we're gonna go leg on the back, and then whichever leg is on the front, that's where you're tipping towards to, right? So you bend in the front leg, you're on your toes on the back leg. I'm going to do sideways so you can get a side view if you're following with me. And right now what I'm doing, I'm trying to get that pulling through here, okay? So if you hear that timer, that's my cue to switch to the other side. So again, I reset it, set it, toes there, here, whichever leg is on the front, that's where we're going towards to. And get that nice pull through this whole flank because I don't want to like aggravate my shoulders just because I'm going to kill my now, if you haven't got my cheat sheet on shortcutting, figuring out which or how much weight to use for your strength for your strength training, just message me directly and I'll send it to you privately, okay? All right, so that was kind of the, the side plank pound. So then the other one is like a kettlebell swing, but I'm going more for that middle of the back, and I'm gonna then do it forward and I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see the view. So I set up my timer, so it goes somewhere back to the knee line, and then I bend the elbows to go back, straight arm, and I swing and bend the elbows so I can really lean back, extend, and just open up my shoulder, and notice I stick my elbows out because I wanna stretch the front of the shoulders. Good time, I got so I view real quick is this. Nose leads the way, right? Like an airplane. Nose always goes first. Alright? Last but not least, a quick rotation. Okay? Now, notice I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. I'm gonna swing my feet a little bit. So the rotation, I'm just gonna keep it low, hip to hip. And 
This is the last one, so if you haven't go get your medicine ball from the closet or the garage, go get it. Because it will be over before you know it. It's simple, straight, it's intense, and to the point. And like I said, we're going to be working the core along the way. Alright, so I'm warmed up with my six. I'm gonna go up to my, excuse me, to my eight pounds, which is this little guy. That's my ten. This is my eight pounds. Okay. So the first one is similar to the warm-up. One leg up, so when I'm down, the ball is down. When I go up from the lunges, my arms is up. And I'm gonna start working gently the tricep. Gently. So it's gonna be some shoulder, but the tricep is gonna get a nice warm up. Again, set up the, the timer. We'll go here. So it's down when I'm down, up when I'm up. Down, down, there, to there. Okay, so I'm not too worried about getting the knee to the floor. I'm worried about the elbows. I'm going to do it <coughs> front view so you can see what's happening with the elbows. Because amazingly, you don't correct your elbow position, you work your shoulders. Okay, now for the other one, <coughs> okay, or the leg. Toes on the back, front leg bend, so you load it up on the butt cheek, really engage your abdominals without having to think about it. So the other one, you're gonna go below the kneecap and then up to the chest, not the face, the chest. So it's here to there. And like I said earlier, you want an amount of weight that you can really uh, use for about three months or so. Like this, it's more like a warm up for me. I need like the 15 pounds really to feel the arms warming up. Okay, perfect. All right. So we're gonna go with the 10 pounds, or you can keep it with your own roller weight. So now we're gonna go from this knee to this shoulder, working the bicep, the shoulder, and the obliques. Okay. So set it up. Knee to shoulder. That's that. Knee, and you see how I bend my arms here. Then I finish with the oblique muscles, the rib cage. So it's knee, shoulder, knee. Shoulder. My head is forward, but my feet are pivoting, they're swinging. Good. So I'm going to do the other side. Again, reset the timer. Here, oops, here to there. Knee, swing the foot. If you didn't feel it through here, then you missed the oblique. You might need to pivot more on your foot. If you feel the low back, you're extending back, and that's not what you want to do. All right? So, time to get to the ground. First one is a regular medicine ball push up, unilateral, meaning one side only. So, we're going to work the chest through the shoulder, and then again, getting into the arms, the back side of the arms. Okay? So, kneeling, if it's too much for you. Regular plank, if you want to engage more core, more body, torso. Uh, I'm going to show you an advanced variation here in a little bit, uh, but let's start with the basic, okay? Again, set up the timer. And then this one is really important for you guys to keep your head on the ball. You're getting three things happening right now. You're working your chest and your shoulder on the hand that's on the ball, but your tricep, okay, your elbow is in, so you're working your tricep through the one that's on the floor. And of course, because you're on a plank, you're engaging your hips and some of your abdominals, so you get to work your core, okay? So I'm gonna do the other side, okay? We go here, set the timer, there, head in front, elbows in, like chicken wings, right? So elbows in, and then head in front, Play with the place of the ball, how high you need it for it to feel the chest and the shoulder and the one hand that's on the floor. On the other hand, chicken wing style. So feel the tricep. 
okay? All right, so again, shoulder, chest, tricep through here, okay? Now, we're gonna go right after the tricep, a little bit on the chest at the end, but I call this the CPR push-up, okay? So your fingers are down, which is great because if you have to deal with wrist problem, this is a great one, okay? So your fingers are pointing down, your head is in front of the ball, by the time you lower yourself down, the ball is underneath your stomach, okay? So again, kneeling plank, so you engage your butt cheek, your abdominals a little bit, so you'll see what I mean in the position. I'm gonna start slow, I'm not gonna start my timer now, and I'm gonna do that so you guys can see it. So my head, my fingers first are pointing down, my head is in front of the ball, and as I lower myself down, you see where my, the ball is? It's right underneath my stomach, right? So we're gonna go from here, like, 80%, 70, 60, and then maybe 50% on the chest. That was the run timer. Now time to set up the right timer. Ready? There we go. Kneeling plank, fingers down. So towards the end, like I said, it was starting to 80, and then 70, and then 50% was mostly felt in the chest, okay? Now, the last one that we're gonna do with the medicine ball, okay, is a little bit of abdominal work, but also the arm work, okay? And again, this is why you wanna buy a ball if you don't have one yet and you're thinking of going get one. Get one that is gonna be worth your while, like a good, at least 10 pounds. Eight pounds, if you're just starting to work out, will be good. Or if you're gonna do some more explosive things later down before strength and tone your arms, this is a good start. 10 pounds, 15 for, for guys, okay? So, we're gonna go curly toes. Scoot over this way a little bit. So you guys can see my toes. So curl your toes underneath, your butt's down, and every time you swing the ball over, your butt's under, and then back down to the other side, okay? Again. Get the arms working, get the core involved, okay? And then because you're moving, you should keep your pulse rate up, right? So it's a great air mission to go ankle, up, up, down. And I'm finishing up right by my ankle, not the knee. And you'll know because your shoulder is in the middle. And if it's hard for you to turn your shoulder to the middle, you know, you need to do some yoga, right? There you go. So, I would love you guys to comment below or message me, whichever way is easier. Better if you comment below how you like this workout, because this week I'm going to have a special surprise for you guys. Um, not tomorrow, but the for sure Wednesday I'm going to have a surprise for you guys. But you have 40 no, 54 hours to comment how you like the workout, if you have a medicine ball, or if you got any questions how to pick and choose a medicine ball for your needs, comment below, or better yet, if you have some concerns because your shoulder or your wrist, just message me directly and I'll answer those for you. All right, guys, I'm going to hustle out here and get a little ball time, shoot around before I go pick up the kids. Talk to you guys later. Be well, stay healthy. Bye.